Hello everyone, this is Jay Galtna here. In this video, we are going to see a problem from Laplace transform. So let's get going. Problem find Laplace transform of t e power minus t sin 3t. Okay, so we'll begin with L of sin 3t. Okay, since we know that L of sin bt equal to b by s square plus b square right then for b equal to 3 we'll get 3 by s square plus 3 square which is 3 by s square plus 9 right now we'll find l of t sin 3t using multiplication by powers of t formula See, multiplication by powers of t says that if L of f of t, L of f of t equal to f of s, then L of t power n into f of t equal to minus 1 power n for n equal to 1, 1 into d power n by ds power n into f of s, right? So, here our f of s is 3 by s square plus 9 or Minus 1 power 1 can be written as minus 1. d power 1 by ds power 1 can be written as d by ds. And this f of s is nothing but 3 by s square plus 9 or L of sine 3t. Okay. This equals to minus 1 into d by ds of we know the value of L of sin 3t which is 3 by s square plus 9, right? Now we can write this as minus 1 into 3 into d by ds of 1 by s square plus 9. Here 3 is a constant, okay? This equals to minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 into Derivative of 1 by s square plus 9 is minus 1 by s square plus 9 whole square into inner derivative. That is derivative of s square plus 9 with respect to s. So derivative of s square is 2s and derivative of 9 is 0 because 9 is a constant, right? Derivative of s square with respect to s is 2s. So you will get inner derivative 2s. This equals to minus 3 into minus 1 into 2s by s square plus 9 whole square, right? Which gives us minus into minus plus 3 into 1, 3, 3 to the 6. So, you'll get 6 s by s square plus 9 whole square, right? So, we got L of t sin 3t which is 6s by s square plus 9 whole square. Okay. Therefore, L of t sin 3t equal to 6s by s square plus 9 whole square. Now coming to L of t e power minus t into sin 3t. So here we are going to apply first shifting theorem or we can write the problem as e power minus t into t sin 3t since first shifting theorem says that if l of f of t equal to f of s then L of e power minus a t f of t equal to f of, here we are having minus a, right? So, you will get f of s plus a. Okay? Now, we are going to apply this formula. This is equals to, now compare, see if L of f of t, just compare these two. Okay? By comparing these two, otherwise these two, we can say that, this is of e power minus a t into f of t, some f of t form, right? Now, for a equal to 1, we'll get f of 
S plus A that is 1. Right? Now, consider this L of T equals sin 3T. This one, this value as f of s for our convenience okay if f of s is 6s by s square plus 9 whole square then f of s plus 1 is just replace s by s plus 1 in our f of s okay being f of t equal to t sin 3t for f of t equal to t sin 3t 6s by s square plus 9 whole square is our f of s okay is equal to 6 times replace s by s plus 1 in f of s you'll get 6 times s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 9 raised to the power 2 right then this becomes 6 times s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 9 whole square right now let's simplify this this becomes 6 times s plus 1 by Expand s plus 1 whole square, you'll get s square plus 1 square is 1 plus 2s plus 9 whole square. This gives us 6 times s plus 1 by s square plus 2s plus 1 plus 9 is 10 whole square. This completes the problem. Therefore, L of t e power minus t sin 3t equal to 6 times s plus 1 by s square plus 2s plus 10 whole square. Okay, we'll write this again. So we have seen a problem from Laplace transform in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.